Again, I'm testing, testing. One, two, three. Trying to see what I can be. This neck. what's up y'all it's your girl p hope and i am back with another video <sighs> y'all it's this one net in here so if y'all see me you know what i'm saying air air boxing or you know what i'm saying looking like i'm getting ready to clap into the oldies it's the net i'm not going crazy it's this one net in my room so look here there you go look at this anyway I'm going to try not to do that through the video because I know it's distracting. Let me just get into the housekeeping. If you are new to the channel, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome in. Thank you for stopping by. At any point in time, if you see something you like, don't be scared to hit that like button. And if you really feel in my vibe, please don't ever hesitate to hit the subscribe button because I am building my channel, growing my channel over here, and I cannot do it without you okay and to all my p hope family you know i want to say what up what up what up i love y'all so much y'all are so supportive and when i tell y'all y'all been coming through on the pregnancy vlogs like uh, it's team p hope for me but anyway i'm just gonna be quick today i'm gonna be quick and easy because i actually recorded this video yesterday started editing it and I realized that I was a blurry mess um for whatever reason the camera was not in focus so hopefully I got that together I did a little test run a while ago so um hopefully I have that together this time because I don't want to have to go through a three times is a charm type of situation because I want to get these videos out on time so hopefully this is going to be it right here but either way, y'all, I done left them phones across the room and they better not start acting out. <laughs> they better not start acting out. Anyway, I'm going to try to make this video short as possible because y'all, we just doing a real quick update. Because y'all, guess what? Guess what? Aunties and uncles and cousins and friends and things. We are officially seven months pregnant. Like, can you believe it? We're already at the seventh month. We have two more months left. I'm like, where did the time go? But Papa was like, you realize you've been pregnant since 2021, right? <laughs> but no, like, honestly, y'all, to me, it doesn't seem like I've been pregnant that long. But child... We are already on month number seven, so I'm just going to let baby boy continue to, you know what I'm saying, marinate in there, go ahead and cook and finish developing, and whenever he's ready to come out, he'll, he'll come out, but yeah, the time is rolling on by, so I just want to do a really, really quick update to let y'all know what's going on with me and baby, okay? So, let me see what I'm going to start with. <laughs> Alright, I'll start with giving y'all a weight update. Now, if y'all remember my last doctor's appointment, she was very, very happy with me because I had only gained three ounces. You know, she's like, girl, for this whole six months that you've been pregnant, you've only gained three ounces. So that is wonderful. It's beautiful. I'll take it. But, um... <clears throat> Within a four week time span, I don't know who I thought I was. I don't know if I, you know, in my head, I had made myself skinny or invincible. I don't know, but I know that I did make a drastic change in my, excuse me. I did make a, did not tell it not to start. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. Ever so sorry for the interruption. But, on a positive note, I think I knocked the net out. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I only gained 
gained three ounces at my six month checkup. Now, at my seventh month checkup, um, like I was in the middle of telling y'all, I switched up my eating habits within these last four weeks. I went from fruits and vegetables and a lot, a lot of water to pretty much a fast food junkie. Now, I don't know what made me switch over to that because I really haven't had no craving for like greasy food and stuff. So I don't know. I guess it was just something different from what I have been eating most of the time. So I just went on a four week binge of french fries, hamburgers, pizza, tacos. So anyway, long story short, when I got on that scale a couple of days ago, it definitely caught up with me. So I have now gone from 364.3 to 371. I have gained seven pounds in four weeks. So, okay, I thought I killed him. He's not gone. Um, so y'all, that's not good. That's not good. But um, of course, I know what to do. I'm just gonna go back to my old eating habits and hopefully at this next appointment, We'll be back at least in the 360s. I know I'm going to be back down to 364 because, like I said, we're in the seventh month now. So, um, we only have a, we, I would, I, mm, I would say I got about 10 weeks left. Maybe, somewhere between 9 to 10 weeks um, left before delivery. So, we're already down to the point where I will be going to my doctor every two weeks instead of every four weeks. Okay? So, I know that I will not be done lost a drastic amount of weight in two weeks. But, the scale should say I should at least be back in the 360s in two weeks. So, I'm going to do my part and I'm going to see what happens. Okay? <sighs> so, that's the weight update. I know, shame on me. Y'all can jump on me in the comment section, y'all. I promise you, I won't feel no type of way. Uh, how's baby boy doing? Of course y'all want to know how baby boy is doing because, y'all, this is my third baby. So, I'm very well aware that, you know, I'm at the stage in this pregnancy where y'all don't give a dang about me. It's all about the baby. So, um, this last particular appointment, they did not weigh him. Um, he has been weighed in the past, but he hasn't been weighed since he was some ounces heavy. So, um, yeah, he hasn't been weighed in quite a while. So, um, the only thing I could tell y'all is pretty much the difference between his heart rate between the six month visit and the seven month visit. So, um, last month. The six month visit, um, I had put that in the video. If you watched the vlog, then you saw what it was. His little heart rate was 142. And um, this month, for the seventh month, his heart rate was 137. And you know, they said that that's still fine, good, good to go. Nothing wrong with baby boy. So, you know, he's still in there kicking, moving, doing what he gotta do, and um, occupying my organs so yeah how am i doing um y'all i'm doing good now i ain't gonna front i told y'all i work in a warehouse setting so it's really really cold in the winter and it's really really hot in the summer we are at that stage in the game where it is miserable at work from the time i get there until the time i leave so my work pace has slowed down because I can't be out from in front of, like, I literally cannot move out from in front of my fan or it's just going to turn into a sweat fest. So, um, I've been very, very extremely hot at work, like, right hand on the Bible. Today, it was so hot, I initially came to work with all black. I had on a really, really long um, black maternity. It's really a maternity dress, but I turned it into a shirt. So, I had on a maternity dress. And some black tights and some Crocs is what I wore to work this morning. By 11 o'clock, my clothes were soaked and I had to take an early lunch so that I could come home, take a cold shower and throw on some lighter colored clothes. Because I had on all black besides my Crocs. My Crocs were white. But um, yeah, I had to come home. I had to put on a white t-shirt and then I changed into some um, exercise, some uh, exercise what you call these? They're not leggings. They're not full length. They just come right up under the knee. Um, quarter limbs, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I had to come get out of them clothes. Like, that's how miserable my work environment is right now. So, y'all, I really was praying 
all the way to my house and all the way back to work that I really make it through these last couple of weeks that I'm before maternity leave because today was giving me a glimpse of girl you're not gonna make it so yeah I had that going on um <laughs> I have a severe case of penguin walk so um I I waddle I definitely waddle everywhere that I go so um yeah I got the um penguin pregnancy walk definitely going on my feet look like two loaves of bread I've never seen you know my feet get this I didn't even know my feet and ankles could get this swollen but they are really really bad and I know I talked to y'all in another video oh my god that I know I talked to y'all in another video about um you know, knowing that I needed to elevate my feet and soak my feet in some Epsom salt and things like that. And y'all, I'm going to be honest, I just still haven't done it. So, I, I blame my swollen feet and ankles on myself because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not soaking my feet. I'm not elevating my feet. I'm not massaging my ankles and feet. Like, they just there. The most that they get is washed in the shower on a daily basis. That's it. And um, as far as my sleeping goes... I am at the stage to where I can no longer sleep on my stomach. I don't know if y'all saw the video where I was telling y'all that um, I, you know, for majority of this pregnancy, that's what I've been doing. I've been sleeping on my stomach. And it's not because I'm trying to hurt or harm my child in any type of way. It was an article that I read that suggests um, sleeping on your left side for, the, um, for maximum circulation or sleeping on your stomach. They say it doesn't, it doesn't hurt the baby or harm the baby at all. And I am naturally a stomach sleeper. So it's been working out great for me. But at this point, he has grown and rounded out so big that um, I'm no longer able to do that. And the article did say that it will get to a point in the pregnancy where you are no longer able to lay on your stomach. So eh, we've come to the end of that road. So <laughs> now I'm pretty much just stuck on my left side because I do like to sleep on the side that will give me maximum circulation. But, um, you know, it's okay to sleep on the right side as well. They just really don't want you to sleep on your back. Um, and I don't remember why. I think they said that um, something about sleeping on your back puts a lot of stress on your heart. So, um, I, it's very rare. Like, if, if I'm still awake, I do lay in bed and lay on my back. I'll do that. But um, if I know, if I feel myself getting ready to doze off or if I know that I'm going to bed for the night, no, I'm never on my back. It's, it's going to be side, left side, or right side. And in the past, of course, it was stomach. But yeah, so that's like a little life update on me and what I got going on. Overheating, like a 57 Chevy. P uh, penguin walk. Loaf of bread feet. And left to uh, two sleeping positions. That's what I got going on right now. But you know. Anything for a baby. Anything for a baby. Oh, Chad. Too old for this. My due date. I'm not sure if I have talked to y'all about this before or not. But um, the baby's original due date was on my son's, my 18-year-old's birthday, which is September the 7th. That was my original due date. But my doctor says that she does not like to take C-section patients all the way to their full 40 weeks. She likes to take them early. So um, I know that the brothers will not have the same birthday because um, that would take me, you know, to the 40 weeks or past the 40 weeks. So um, I don't know when. I, I, I don't have a due date as of this point. So, um, what I did was email my doctor and, you know, I told her, um, you know, hey, do you have a surgery date for me at this point? Because I need to make preparations at my job. Um, the dad-to-be needs to make preparations at his job so that, you know, we can make sure we give everybody a heads up in enough time that, you know, look, it's been real. We out. And um, she did reply back to me and she said that she will not be able to to give me a permanent surgery date until august so um i'm actually having to wait all the way until 
August before I get a permanent surgery date. Why does it sound like my door is open? Bro! Hey, Grandma. Hey, Adrian. Bye. I got a picture. Okay, girl. <laughs> I just want to do a video. Like, I don't feel like I'm asking for too much. Yeah. I'm not even sure what I was talking about, but long story short, we do not have a due date as of right now. I will not have a due date until the month of August when my doctor is able to coordinate with the hospital and coordinate with her other patients to see what's what. So when I get a date, y'all get a date. How about that? Um, Baby registry. Some of y'all asked me about a baby um, gift registry and a virtual baby shower. So to answer those two questions, yes, I finally have a baby registry um, that is available, but I'm not going to drop that link until my next video because I want to finish adding some items to the registries, but I am registered at Target and Amazon. It's the two places that you can find me at, but I'm going to um, have the links available for y'all next week in next week's video. So yeah that's that on the baby registry for everybody that asked and um of course whatever you guys want to get let me tell you something whatever you're seeing we will be more than grateful because this baby don't have nothing as of right now and um you know baby say i'm panicking but i'm like i feel like this child should have something by now let me tell y'all what he has at this very moment he has a dirty clothes hamper and a stuffed animal that's what our son has right now on this day so yeah with that being said whatever whatever you decide to purchase him it is gonna be wonderful i can guarantee you it's gonna be wonderful and to answer the question about the um virtual baby shower that's gonna be a no now um i am having well let me say not i we we are having a baby shower for the baby and um we will definitely be vlogging that situation so um so you will get to see what is this the vlog from hell um so you will get to see the baby shower but it won't be virtual and the only reason that i did not try to um do like a virtual baby shower or go live at my physical baby shower is because i just feel like i'm not going to be able to entertain the way that i would like to so i feel like it would just be boring so i would rather just you know highlight you know highlight the fun footage of the things that we actually do at the baby shower and then just share with the p-hope family that way i think that'll be a little better because y'all know at the end of the day i'm still very much a rookie to this whole um camera situation the whole vlogging situation <sighs> your girl's still an infant your girl's still an infant when it comes to this youtube world so work with me okay just work with me and so yeah like i said i try to just do something real quick just in and out you know, I'm just pretty much showing my face, telling y'all hey, and letting y'all know that we are in month number seven. Now, um, the next vlog, we will finally start to prep for this baby shower. It's finally time to start prepping for the baby shower. So, we'll be doing some shopping. I'll be showing you guys the invitations and stuff like that. So, be on the lookout for the next vlog. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again to everyone who has been um being extremely supportive and showing love and coming into these videos each and every week i love you love you love you for that okay sorry y'all i'm determined to finish out this video the way i told y'all that i'm gonna finish out these videos with three new suggestions each and every vlog okay so my three suggestions for this week are my first one is jasmine marie now jasmine marie um her channel is about beauty day in the life vlogs and pranks but she is now 
currently 20 weeks pregnant and so she's taking you through her entire pregnancy so if you're interested in following somebody's pregnancy like the way that you know you guys are following mine she's much much younger much much smaller you know what i'm saying so you might really enjoy her okay she's doing this you know pretty much the same thing that i'm doing just vlogging the entire pregnancy from the beginning to the end all right that's jasmine marie now let me go let me see who was next then next we have jessica ac jessica ac um i really really enjoyed her labor and delivery vlog so y'all can definitely go over there and check out her labor and delivery vlog and y'all know that it's got to be pretty good because it's already at 4.3 million views okay so if you're interested in labor and delivery miss jessica ac is definitely one to check out i enjoyed it okay and last but not least um is miss uriah taylor uriah taylor i thought i had been suggested this um content creator to you all but okay i had went back through my videos and i noticed that i didn't suggest her um but i really really like her i started out with her labor and delivery vlog and she has already delivered at this point but um you can start you can either start at her labor and delivery or you can just go all the way back to the beginning of her channel like whatever you want to do but um i really really enjoy her because she um is she's young she's vibrant she's a new mommy and um she's really honed in on speaking the word of the lord like she she wants to bring the youth towards god but she's not overbearing with it you know what i'm saying she's really realistic with it like look y'all i done had a baby out of wedlock i'm young i'm not with my baby daddy like <laughs> you know she got a whole situation over there going on but it's like in the midst of it she still puts god first in everything that she does and she's trying to you know recruit others in to be the same way so i think that that's really really cool and that's something different that we don't see a lot here on youtube so those are my three suggestions for this week don't be shy or scared to go check these ladies out because i think you'll enjoy all three of them so yeah i'm trying to keep the video short y'all but y'all know i run my mouth so let me just say you already know i want you to be happy be healthy be safe this is your girl p hope and i will catch you in the next video bye guys hi there if you made it to the end of the video all the way to the end then here is my seven month baby bump reveal look at this baby y'all this is a big baby let me turn to the side look at that move my big old arm out the way Whew. so yeah y'all this is baby boy right here just wanted to give y'all that update i might actually use this as a thumbnail <laughs>